Welcome to the city of Fairhaven, home to the most intense street racing on the planet. Listen, I'm not a gearhead. I don't know anything about makes or models or engine sounds. And I certainly don't care about Vin Diesel. To say I'm outside this game's core audience would be an understatement. And yet, I couldn't stop playing the damn thing. Every race had me at the edge of my seat. Every police pursuit made my knuckles go white. Every stupid dubstep track had me blow blowing louder than an engine spewing pure, unadulterated badass straight into the ozone layer. Wanna know how good this game is? It made me wish my car had nitrous oxide. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, Need for Speed Most Wanted is a racing game, but it's also the video game equivalent of a developer strutting around in a robe while drinking liquidized gold and smacking bitches with rare comic books. Point is, the team over at Criterion has gotten to the point where they're just showing off. They're like Ric Flair circa 1987, styling, profiling, and making everyone else just plain look bad. Woo! That, that was actually the first word in the press release. Dead serious. So if you follow Need for Speed, you know Most Wanted was originally released in 2005. It may seem odd for a game that's only seven years old to be rebooted, but hey, Criterion does what they please. And they've created something truly special in the process. This is an exceptionally beautiful, seamless, and empowering racer. And really, that all starts with the setting. You're a newcomer to the city of Fairhaven, where street racing is dominated by a group called the Most Wanted. If you want in, you have to prove yourself, not only by conquering the Most Wanted, but by conquering the city itself. The place is so massive and sprawling, it's almost overwhelming, but it also feels alive. In fact, the city kind of becomes the game's primary character, like this alluring villain you can never escape. Fairhaven sure looks good too. In fact, the game is just stunning. There's so much visual polish and detail, that you almost hate speeding by without stopping to enjoy the scenery. And one of the best things about Most Wanted is that there are no loading times in Fairhaven. So the entire city is one seamless, completely open world. It really is this ultimate urban playground for car racing. And speaking of the cars, you'll be happy to know they're pretty slick too. The game includes more than 40 vehicles, and they're all yours, provided you can find them. They're scattered throughout the city, and with a quick press of a button, they're yours to race, paint, upgrade, and destroy. They all handle differently, but generally speaking, the game's driving mechanics are absolutely top-notch. It's a blast to drive them. In fact, th this entire game is a blast to play. The freedom you're afforded, uh, combined with the focus on connectivity and the sheer amount of stuff to do, make it really addictive. I mean, it's so easy to just get lost in Fairhaven and play for hours, racing rivals and getting under the cop's skin. I, I'm no vagrant street racer, but even I enjoyed my stay in Need for Speed Most Wanted.